control point is being captured. Hey guys, I'm back here with part four finally. Um, yeah, I'd just like to say before I start, I'm really sorry I haven't gotten to this beforehand. I'm not sure what happened. I just got really busy. Um, but school's out. Um, I don't have anything else to do. I'll be posting more, and because I haven't posted in a long time, I'll post something tomorrow, probably. Or maybe the day after, depending on, um, I don't know, if I have enough time. And um, I'd also like to say, uh, people have been uh, bothering me, because I'm not bothering me, but commenting on how I say um a lot, so... I'll try and cut down on that bit. No guarantees. Okay, so anyway, um, <clears throat> today we're going to be focusing on, uh, this is going to be a very short video, just on getting a um, some form of GUI, so basically having the enemy's health up in the corner or something like that. So um, we're just going to start off by opening up our AI script, and uh, just a few things I need to mention beforehand, people have been asking me in the comments. Um, first of all, if you don't have the first person controller, then you need to go to game object or whoops assets import package and then go to where is it should be here somewhere Ooh, this is a character controller <laughs> first one okay so if you don't have first person controller you need to go to assets import package character controller and then it'll do this and then you just click import and it'll be there so yeah that's how you solve that um, yeah okay now what we're gonna do is open up our AI script uh, just drag it over here now um, if we go back to what we did before it's pretty basic um, basically when you take a certain amount of damage then you know the, the enemy goes away or whatever for now we're gonna change this to 3 um, You'll see why later, so we'll just save that, check for errors, just always do that. Um, now what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to figure out how to get some form of image show up on the screen. Now, um, when you have something showing up on screen, like a little, like a health bar or something, chances are that's GUI, graphical user interface, and uh, Unity makes this really easy. Uh, what we could do is just go up to game object, create other, GUI texture, and then this thing will show up on the screen. And if we play, um, it will not move. It's not like an actual 3D object. It's going to stay plastered to the main camera. And actually, I have dual monitor set up, so it's going to lag a bit today. Anyway, um, but we don't want that, so we're going to remove that. Just right like that. And we're going to go back to our script. Now, um, it's called GUI, what we're going to be doing. Um, so let's go back. And what we're going to do is uh, start a function. And GUI is always in its own function. Um, there's a few exceptions to that, but not really. Okay, uh, so function on GUI, not GIO, GUI. Close that off. Ugh. Okay, now what we're going to do is, uh, let's say our health is 3, right? So what do we want to happen when our health is full? Which, when our health is full, our health is 3. So we say if health plus equals oops, three, then what do we want to happen? Now, um, there's quite a few different types of GUI that you can call from a script anyway. Um, the one we're going to be using is GUI.label, which will basically just allow us to plaster whatever we want on the screen without too much worry. Um, it's, it's pretty easy. You can also do GUI.text, GUI.box. Um, we might get into that later when we make this a little bit more interesting or make a pause menu or something like that. Okay, now what do we want to happen? So we're going to put GUI.label because that's what we want. <laughs> Label. Okay. Um, and now this is where we set the parameters for how big we want it to be and what we want it to have inside of it. So, um, sorry if I'm bumping this microphone. Okay, what we want is a rectangle because our textures are going to be rectangles even though the shape might not be a rectangle, an image is always a square or a rectangle. So we're just going to put rect, for standing for rectangle. Now we have to put in uh, what, like the size of how big we want it to be. So for now, we're just going to put 10, comma, 40, comma, and then what we're going to do here is we're actually just going to leave this blank for now. Uh, it won't work 
until we fill something in there, but that's fine. We're going to put another comma. And then what we need to do is this is where you define where whoops this is where you define what you want to display. So we're gonna have to make a new variable. So we'll go up to the top. Um, so we'll go variable and then we'll call it um, healthful texture. Now nah, that's too long. Um, three health. Okay, and we're gonna make it texture two D. Now basically this is saying we have a variable called 3health and it's a texture. So if we save this, uh, it's going to give us an error because we haven't finished this code. But our enemy should have... Nope, okay, we need to fix that first. But what will happen is there will be an option that will let you choose a texture um, for this variable. So we're going to put right here 3health. Um, and then close it off. Now what we what we skipped here was the ta the width and the height height width the width and the height of the texture. Now um usually you want to leave it as whatever the actual native width and height is for the texture you're using, but in this case just to make things a little bit easier, we're just going to make our own custom ones. So basically what's going to happen here is um we're going to make two new variables. We're going to make one variable um, texture width, and that's going to be an integer. See, because you have to put numbers here, so 10 and 40, that's like, like I believe, um, width and height for the image, and then you have to put this for the actual texture. So it has to be an integer. And then we're going to do var texture height I spelled that wrong maybe I don't know and okay now we have those what we're just gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna be quick about this and just copy this comma and then the other one okay is that right yes it is okay I think we might be needing some spaces somewhere in there but anyway let's just close this off for now switch back to unity unexpected token 3 that's right you can't do that okay we're just gonna put healthful oh god okay healthful which means we need to change this down here um, healthful no man I don't know why there's autocrat stupid okay now as you can see it'll say healthful and then it'll be um It'll be this thing that says none texture 2D. So we'll let you select a texture. Um, these are just three random textures that are in here. We're just going to be using those for the beginning. So let's just go ahead and select default particle. And if we click play, uh, you'll notice that nothing happens. Okay. Now, um, what should be happening is there should be a little texture here. Now, the reason it's not happening is because we don't actually have any width or height set to this texture so there's going to be a texture that is set with absolutely no width and no height which means it can't be seen so we're going to change this to 100 100 and as you can see now there is a thing in the corner and so if we actually go ahead and attack our enemy it'll go away so basically what that means is now that our health is 2 over here um, it's not it's telling it no don't display that texture because your health isn't full anymore so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna basically copy all this and repeat it um, really quickly here so just copy all of this and then paste it two more times something doesn't look right there yeah okay now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to add three more textures because we don't want to have the same texture displaying for each different health what our goal is going to be here is to have let's say three hearts up in the corner and um, every time the enemy loses health uh, one of those hearts goes away until he dies so what we want is to have three different textures which will represent three different hearts that we'll add later so we're going to go to our var health to I'm going to hope you can do that and then just do texture 2d and then var health 1 equals texture 2d now what we're going to do here is um, 
change this to 2 and to 1. So it's basically saying if our health is 2 or if our health is 1. And then we're going to have to change these, obviously, because we don't want the same texture. So I'm going to change that to 2 and change that to 1 and hope it works. Yep, okay. Now, let's select these two different textures. Uh, these just random textures. It doesn't really matter at this point what we choose. So three different textures for three different parts of our health. Our texture width, just 100, 100 again. Um, just do that. It'll be easier because the images will all be the same size, or at least they should be. So now if we click, oop, texture changes to that thing. Click again, oop, changes to that thing. Click again, and it's all gone. So there we go. Um, that can easily be fixed, uh, the fact that those aren't actually hearts. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause the video. Um, I'm going to Photoshop up some hearts or something like that, and then come back with them so that we can use them in-game. So I'll see you guys in a second, and um, just take a minute, and I don't know what, look at the screen. So I'll see okay, you guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I um, scundered up, or I don't really know what that means. Um, some textures, one health, one health, two health, and three health. That one looks a bit weird. Anyway, um, there's a few things you have to know before you actually go ahead and make some textures. I'll have these available for download below, but if you want to make your own, and you probably will, then there's a few things you have to note. First of all, if you're making them in Photoshop, they need to be saved as PNGs, as interlaced, um, and you need to make the background of them transparent. So basically take the eraser tool um, and just erase the background of everything you don't need. See how um, it's kind of hard to tell, but if you look, there's no white there. It's all transparent. And so you need to save them as PNGs. Really nothing else will work and will save the transparency. So just save yourself the time of converting and stuff and just make it PNGs and make them all the same size. Don't let it get inconsistent. Uh, I didn't actually make these, my friend did. And you can see that it's a little bit uneven on the top, which, you know, it's not that much of a problem, but you can sort of notice it jittering when you play, and you'll see what I mean that like that in a minute. So um, once you have these textures, all you actually have to do is just take them, drag them uh, into Unity. If you're on a Mac, you do it this style. If you're on Windows, do it some other style. I don't really know. Um, and just drag them in. I'm not going to do that. I already have them. But, wait, what? Why is this open? No. No. Okay, what? Okay. Now, um, what we're going to do is go to enemy. I'll go to health. Uh, sorry, that was a little bit of an Irish accent. Health 3 to health full. Health 2 to health 2. And health 1 to health 1. Now, what should happen is... Dun -dun -dun, you've got... You've got health. So, when you walk up to your enemy... Click once, health goes down, click twice, health goes down, click three times, health goes under down. Uh, this is really basic and it's not that great, but once you add a cooldown and we get a little bit more um, just refined later on in the game, it'll look better. Right now it's too crude and just kind of too black, but um, 13 minute video, not that bad, not too shabby, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and say that this is it for this part of the tutorial. Um, I also just wanted to say there may or may not be a big thumbnail for half the video after this. Um, it depends on what I decide to do. My thumbnails are not working at the moment, so I'll have to just do that. Or I can just skip thumbnails, I don't really know. Um, and i also like to say, um, as much as I appreciate the offers, people are sending me um, invites to join groups, development groups. Um, not really interested in that, just because I don't know you. And I actually already have a team, already working on a project. I uh, can't really do that. So before you go and shoot me an invite to uh, get on Skype with you, I really can't do that just because I don't feel comfortable with it. And it's not really going to be something I want to be able to do anyway. So yeah, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed. I'll make something else tomorrow. Really sorry for waiting like three months to upload this. I'm going to be uploading regularly. I need to get my views up a bit. Uh, my social blade is a bit shabby. If any of you knows, if any of you know what that means, but yeah, um, hope you enjoyed. Um, we're gonna see where this game goes. It should be very interesting. Um, next, we're gonna see if we can get this little guy to move and attack us. Shouldn't be too hard. And um, yeah, that'll be fun. So I'll see you guys later. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you have a question or if you disliked it. And um, yeah, 
and make sure you include your error as well as your code if you're posting a problem otherwise I can't help you so yeah I'll see you guys later